I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man, this sucks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Working Class Souls Podcast. I'm your host, Ed McGowan, here in a break room with my co-host, Josh Accardo. Fucking Eddie's back. <laughs> hey, what's up, buddy? He's back from a Sicilian. Hey. He's back from a Rome. Hey, uh, buono. Well, we got a guest who's probably got Sicilian, because he's kind of blackish. <laughs> the Moors. <laughs> he got the Moors in him. This dude is a super talented comedian, writer. He has a really great product out, race, the movie, the play. I call it a product because it's probably going to be a bunch of things. It's been a live read. It's been a play itself. It's probably going to be a Broadway. It's probably going to be on television. It's going to be everywhere. Toys. Toys. <laughs> fucking sex toys. <laughs> the one and only Christian <laughs> Durant. Christian. Hey. What is What's your worst day job? Worst day job, uh, the one that comes right away is this place called Crispers. Uh, it was right, a right, sandwich right, right. shop. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> Crispers, Crispers, and this is like a low, like a regional chain. I it assume? must have been a regional chain because I've never heard of it since in Florida. Oh, Florida, Florida, yeah, Ooh, yeah. Florida in sandwich the summer. shop. Yeah, okay, yeah, it was a, it was a bummer. Like I, and they wouldn't even let me make sandwiches, which was like <laughs> the most annoying thing about that job. Wait, like, was it a racist thing? <laughs> I, I don't know, it's, man. We're all talking about Florida. They're here. like, we don't trust you. <laughs> you look sketchy. You know, it'd be great if it's yeah. Christian, like just standing by the cold cuts and the. Yeah. His, like sensei, his meat sensei is like, not today. No. <laughs> Just for a full yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Which hand is? Which yeah. hand has the stone? <laughs> You're not ready. Yeah. Young it's like Christian. a Japanese sushi chef. Which hand has the provolone? <laughs> I'm like putting it, putting a cold cut with tweezers, and he's like, he just walks away. It's like the bear. Like, oh, God damn it, sir! It's Crispers. Yeah, the fucking, it's right here. I, I, like, yeah, exactly. It's Crispers. It literally, it's paid by numbers, so any yeah. idiot can do this job. It's in the back, spreading mayo, just yeah. like slowly, yeah. like a wax well, really, on. Why, why, why wouldn't they let you do the sandwich? Did you ever take it personal? I well, I yeah, I don't know. It was just like it was one of those things where like, and I, I worked at Chick Fil A too, and it was like. The Concurrently they, at the same no, time. No, no, no. <laughs> hey, 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 these really fucking fuckers are crispers. Yeah. Are letting me make yeah. a sandwich? Look, I could go to Chick Fil A today and be on fries. Like, don't fuck around. Uh, <laughs> going over there with the secrets. Yeah. <laughs> and you're, uh, little by little, for your yeah. boss at crispers, you're leaving yeah. little pieces of Chick Fil A paraphernalia yeah. you gotta wear. That's a little like, apron. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, Who, who's this? <laughs> I don't know. Keep this under your hats. <laughs> so they came up with the spicy chicken sandwich. Yeah. It's an old crispers recipe. The secret is pickle juice. <laughs> mm. Which it so actually is. Those are is. two terrible jobs that like teenagers. Yeah, well, I got to say Chick-fil-A was actually a pretty good job. It was is pretty Is it like fun. that In-N-Out? So I love In-N-Out, and I heard In-N-Out treats their employees very well. Yeah, Chick-fil-A was... For all their weird religious stuff, I guess, that people don't like, they were pretty good. They would give you a raise like every month. And I was like 15. That was oh, my wow. first job. Oh, okay. They would give you a raise every month. It was like 25 cents. And this was 2003 or something like that. Still. But every, every month. month? Hey, you're talking like Eddie McGowan. Eddie pretty McGowan good. Pay 25 cents. 25 yeah. cents. He, he yeah. puts that away. <laughs> that goes right in the bank. <laughs> <laughs> the most frugal motherfucker ever. Eddie McGowan. If I change on the street, it goes right in the bank. <laughs> Unless I throw it at your car because you piss me off in traffic. <laughs> Yeah. Only I, time that he throws money away is when he's fucking <laughs> hawking quarters at fucking people that cut him off in traffic. You nut job. I keep a I keep a bunch of change in my uh, in my door handle this there. True. And it's one hundred percent true. Oh, yeah. <laughs> if somebody cuts me off, it's not like you're you're shooting yeah. at him. Like, I'll get, it's terrifying. I'll get. But what I do is I get around. So I, and then I roll down the passenger side window. Yeah. It doesn't work if Josh is in the car because right. really. And then I get the full. The fog and it's like da 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 da. How do they respond? I usually pull Swerving? away. Yeah, I'm a, I, yeah, they don't ever catch back up to me. Right, I tell yeah, you that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so it works. I uh, my uh, my wife's brother. He uh, one time somebody was like, you know, flagging him down for whatever he cut him off or whatever he did. And uh, so they're chasing him for like miles and miles for a long time. Miles and miles. And he was just like. I don't know what to do. And eventually he they were like honking their horn behind him and stuff. He's like basically like pull over. So he pulls over and then as the guy was about to come up, he he's like, Grab me a glove from the glove compartment. He gets a black glove and he puts on the black glove kind of like <laughs> stage actory and and then just goes like this. It. And like just kind of 
taps on the window on the door of his car and the guy just like went away <laughs> he's like what kind of like, because if you saw somebody put on a glove while you're approaching their oh, car you'd be like man, I fuck nah your glove, I'm bro. Good. what are you gonna do with that glove <laughs> yeah, it's hey, a weapon. <laughs> that is like some Jedi mind trick yeah, shit yeah. dude some quick thinking like it makes that. you think he's gonna stick it in my ass <laughs> right yeah. is like, that what you're like, alluding to sir I don't know like, come on big boy <laughs> come on fella you know how many times I've been in a situation with the cab driver back in the old days in New York where they felt comfortable with me in the car while having a full out brawl. Oh. So I had a I had one cab driver. He is fucking with this other car. They're like, this is New York City. It's like the <laughs> yeah. you know, it's like Sixth Avenue or whatever. It's no. not like a highway. Yeah. So at each stoplight, they're cussing each other out, and it's two like let's just call it what it is, racist white dudes. Oh, okay. And it's this Bengali guy. And he the Bengali guy is just as wrong as the white guy. They're, the yeah. Bengali guy's the, the cab driver, the and, cab two, driver and two and white guys two are in like Two white guys in like a truck. Oh. Like a dad and a son. Oh. Like, <laughs> like they're out there. Yeah, dude, they're that's having the a whole night of racism. <laughs> yeah. That's, it's like a yeah. bonding of racism. <laughs> yeah. Right? Florida place. Yeah, and, then, <laughs> and, and, they, and, they, and they hate this guy. Like, this is around 2000. Probably ten. Uh -huh. So so tensions are still high. Yeah, they're still yeah. like going We're off still of like Iraq. Yeah. We're still in Afghanistan. Like it's high, right? So I'm just a bystander. I'm in the fuck. I'm paying uh, this guy to take me somewhere. Dude. And f finally it's going on so long that I'm like, hey, buddy, like, I just want to get to my place. Right. And he's being an asshole. He won't stop. So they pull up to the next light and it's summer. So the window's down. They throw something in the car. Ooh. Trash. Oh, wow. This dude must have done this a million times. This Bengali guy. Because he grabbed whatever they threw and some of his own trash. <laughs> And perfect. It was like if, I've never seen anything like it in my life. The accuracy this guy had, he bundled it. He threw it through the passenger side window. Wow. Through their window. Yeah. Hit the dude square in the face <laughs> with his own trash and whatever shit he threw. And they fucking it's got like out. Steph Curry. This is how, yeah, exactly. <laughs> it was I, I honestly, it was one of the most incredible things. I wish it was like one of those YouTubes. That, you know, those guys that go around city to city and do trick shots. It's just yeah. this guy in a cap throwing trash at white people who are racist. Because he hit the guy right in the face. And yeah. this is how stupid racist white people are. Like hillbilly kind of dudes. They get out of the car because we're now we're out of stoplight. It's like one of those yeah. things like in dirty work where he moons the people and he pulls over and parks. Yeah. Like he had just hit him in the face yeah. and we have to stop at a red light. Yeah. They're like, what? <laughs> and they get out and they're punching the car. Oh, they wow. punch the window I'm in and then this dude like skirts out and drops me off and I. I swear to God, I thought, this is the most insane thing I've ever... Imagine that's how I died. Yeah. Just by association to this fucking gifted Bengali man yeah. with the greatest arm in his <laughs> yeah. Dan Marino of the Bengalis. <laughs> he just launches trash. It would be great if after he made that shot, he looked at you and was like, holy shit, I can't like, believe I did that. Like, I would actually respect it, 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 it yeah. more. I'd be like, yo, wheel out, wheel out. I would have started helping him navigate. He yeah. just looks back first string freshman year. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah they, so you're working at chick-fil-a yeah <laughs> yeah i was working at chick-fil-a uh that was a good job man that actually well because i also had my friends who worked there and the oh, reason yeah, Ed, that, see, i've never yeah. had those kind of jobs yeah. eddie always schools yeah. me on that it's like yeah. once you get your crew in there yeah that's it's the, the game. clubhouse 100 yeah. 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 well the the reason i brought that up was because like they always put me up front on register and drive through and stuff and I was like, I almost quit because I wanted to work in the back with all my friends because uh, they were on sandwiches and fries and stuff. And I was like, how come I don't get to be on? Once again, yeah. like, this again. kid cannot touch food. <laughs> yeah, like, what was your deal, dude? I don't you, know. You look like you didn't have good hygiene. I don't like, know. Just really long Pull fingernails. He's, he's, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it was. Just, I, I think it was just the way I talked. They were just like, put him up front. He's gonna make us look good. He's, oh yeah, we got a good one. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> this right, this, right, this right. kid here is he's articulate. Front of house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I, I think. It Maybe it was that, but yeah, that Christmas job, it was like, it wasn't even, it was just like bussing tables basically and occasionally doing stuff yeah. and they would leave tips. People would leave oh, tips sometimes. At Crispers? Because it was, a weird, it was one of those weird things where you Class. order up, you order at the thing and then somebody brings you your food. Brings it around. Yeah, but this so, was like way before McDonald's. Was it a was chain? I guess so. It uh -huh. must have been. It looked like a chain. And then, uh -huh. Can you imagine like, dropping a tip at a chain? Like, fuck yeah. my head out. I'm going to go over for five guys. <laughs> yeah. Throw a $2 bill. <laughs> hey, take this. Hey. Hey, <laughs> hey, buddy, back. Hey, great job back there. I got a $2. I got a two spot for you on the table. But they took my tips. That was. 
That was the thing what? that was so annoying about that job. They Are took you my, kidding me? I wasn't allowed to keep the tips. They're like, we got to take them. And we got like, who's we exactly. I don't even who's know who's we. You, yeah, management. Yeah, yeah, they just, they just went just and took spent them. them. I just like took that them. was yeah, made exactly. up. It was <laughs> like so they annoying. Made that up and you didn't. Question yeah, I know. It. Chris is such a good guy. He's like, well, yeah. you know, and that's just fucking them the breaks. <laughs> yeah, that was, well, and also. So did you start? Did you start lying about? It? Did you hide the tips? Of course, yeah. Hell Eventually, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Just like, oh, well, that job extra sucked because like the reason I got that job because I had to go back living with. My parents because Oh you were in your like 20s I was in school I was still in college oh. But anyway I went to go Live there because it was cheaper And everything and excited then, I got thinking that Christian might have had a moment of losery <laughs> yeah. He's such like a put together guy I'm like come on Is this the moment no, Where you're a piece of shit no, been, <laughs> Please <laughs> tell me There was a moment Where you were a piece of shit Trust me There's a lot of moments like that There's so many moments like that But uh, yeah no Like I I had a, a car accident, like, and not a bad one. I was just like a fender bender. But the thing was, like, it fucked up my hood, so I couldn't close the hood of my car. It was like a oh, Nissan dude, Sentra. Talk I couldn't, about so I had a bungee cord. Yeah. I had, first oh, I had zip ties and a bungee cord. Brother, I, I drove down I-95 a couple times. More than a few times, I had the Tommy Boy thing happen. Yeah. It goes on the way. It goes, oh, fuck, fuck, And it's trying to pull over. So that's the car I was taking to Crispers. <laughs> Thank God there wasn't like social media back then, right? You should have been all yeah. over. Especially yeah. those like world star hip hop accounts. Yeah. Like they just love shitting on brown people, like doing stereotypical shit. Yeah, that was that was awful. That uh, was awful. Yeah. You ever seen? I mean, you said you worked a drive-through. Yeah. Is this like a? Dude, when you were working, was it like what we're seeing now? Or literally, I see five videos that I've never seen before, and it's accounts that I look for, where people are beating the shit out of customers at like McDonald's drive-throughs the- front, like the front. And I realize it's because it's like. Could be where the neighborhood is. Could be the de- the demo. Could be the time of day or night, if mm-hmm, you will, mm-hmm. if they're open twenty four seven. And I have seen four videos where a McDonald's worker is housing a motherfucker. One dude hopped the counter and he took the fry thing and he bashed this guy's head in. I mean, wow. it, they're getting for real. Like the McDonald's workers are not fucking around. Well, you do not I, try to fight a McDonald's. Yeah, worker. but I work the Chick Fil A. It's a different class of people. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know. Like, 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 You're like, excuse fast me, sir. Service. Yeah, this is Chick Fil A. It's a crispier French fry. <laughs> Take that to Arby's. <laughs> yeah. So no one gave you like you never yeah, had an issue. It was just attitude or okay, somebody right. yelling at you, but it was yeah, never. Yeah. I never experienced anything that bad. I we used to go to a Denny's and oh, Denny's people. Denny's yeah, was, was Denny's. wild. But the thing about like when we used to go to Denny's and it was just everybody was just hammered. These old waitresses, man, they, they didn't give a fuck. They should study those waitresses. They were amazing. As comedians, we're always in those diners <sighs> at like three a.m. Yeah, on a drive yeah. back. And you're right. They might be the toughest fucking people the that toughest. ever existed. They've yeah. seen it all. Yeah. yeah. They've been sexually harassed. They've had everything yeah. happened to them. Unfazed. Probably they, been yeah. punched. I oh, guarantee you yeah. they've caught yeah. a stray. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I bet you I bet you the other thing too is the fucking the line cooks love these ladies. Of course. So they know deep down they got back up. Because the got, line yeah, cooks are true, usually yeah. ex felons. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sometimes you go to like sometimes I go to one of those waffle houses when I'm in the south doing yeah. gigs and you look in the you look because you could see him cooking. Oh like, yeah. yeah. Oh, that guy might have a murder too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He for, might have a murder too. For sure, dude. I worked with a couple guys like that, dude. Johnny Lunchmeat. I think we talked about Johnny. <laughs> Johnny I think we talked about Johnny Lunchmeat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I was on the train with my son, right? And I'm always, we had to take him to a specialist in Midtown. So he's on the train, and I'm always kind of like, because there's so many schizos on the train now. And even though it's like lunch at time, it's still whatever. So of course we're sitting there and it's fucking schizo. He gets on with his bike. He's not, he's so fucking cracked out. He can barely <laughs> hold the bike. So like the bike's teetering everywhere. Mm-hmm. He's missing a whole row to the left of, of his mouth of teeth. And you know, one of those uh, Mexican girls with the kid in the back oh. selling the candies comes yeah. around. Oh, uh-huh. Yep. And he's like, he looks at me because I'm talking to my son. We're chatting, whatever. He's like, hey, sir, sir. Cause now I'm sir. Yeah. He like what? Well, oh, it's yeah. funny when they like trying to shine, like shine yeah. me on, like yeah. sir, sir. So I'm like, hey man. It's like, can you believe this right here? This he carries a fucking kid in the back. 
You better for what a Snickers bar? You gonna get kids fall on the tracks? Whatever. I'm looking at this dude. I would never put my child at risk. Ah, that's the best. Put your child at risk. <laughs> the parenting tips. Yeah. Yes. The fucking the junkie. Then he said what he did too. You know, for me, man, that's not. You know, I would go out and fucking me get my schizo friends. I'll rob a fucking <laughs> rob an armored car. No less 150 million. Why can't it be worth my time? And if I get shot down by the cops, and I want to look at him like. <laughs> He's already he's jumped to getting shot yeah, down by the cops. Yeah. Yeah. At least I go down for my family. Like I'm <laughs> looking at my two year old son like this family. is not. Yeah. I have to be polite because I'm with my wife, yeah, and son. So I can't be like, hey, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah, you're just trying to like I'm just trying to nullify. Get through it. And yeah, now yeah, because yeah, I'm yeah. getting through it, he thinks we're bros. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I wish you would have been like. So why haven't you done this? Like, if he's so ready to I do know. this, I want, like, let me hear your full clearly, plan. Like, yeah, that's you a good, this out. That's like, a great psychological move. Yeah, yeah. like, so, oh, cool. Oh, that's a great idea. I, so, yeah. what, how, what do you, what do so, you, when yeah, do you want yeah. to do it? Wednesday? You put this into action. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you start. Using I got a those, car. Hey, I got a printer. <laughs> those business lingos. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's let's action. Yeah. Let's action. I have <laughs> pens, well, uh, paper. It's like, oh, I got stuff. His head would explode. He'd be so angry. Smoke. Yeah. Oh God, he was so. Dude was. Oh my God. Yeah. This been a couple one time I was, it was such a New York moment one time I was on the train I was just sitting there listening to music or whatever there's a guy on the other side reading a book and uh, you know whatever we we stop and somebody this guy comes in you know homeless looking dude with big burly you know coat, or, uh, coat on sits next to the guy reading the book doesn't matter whatever who cares and then the guy just goes pulls out a crack pipe and just immediately goes whoa and uh, the guy next to me and I uh, the guy across from me and myself look at each other like, did he just smoke crack? <laughs> like, wow. And then he just like runs off the train at the next stop. It's the 80s all and, over again. And man. it was just like, we both just laughed after that. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and it was such a moment that I almost was like, hey man, do you want to be friends? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, hey, hey, look at like, that. We just shared such experience. Face. My heart he, raced he's a like, little hey, bit when you he's said like, smoking <laughs> crack. He's like, dude, <laughs> never like, in my <laughs> day would a self-respecting crackhead ever smoke in the open. <laughs> like on the subway. That, honestly, no. Do you know what I thought? I was like, yeah, that's an extra like little rush. <laughs> Yeah, that's an extra. Oh, right, it's like you're just, he, you're just he trying just to get that next neuron, right? He's just firing it yeah. right there in front of people and then running. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah, of course you would run. Yeah, that's exactly how. Oh, that sounds like a. <laughs> that's good, always the I'm like, that's my head. I'm like, I just ran right through it. I was like, yeah, that's a good, that's a good hit. That was the thing when I met you. I was like, I'm. I mean, it's so surprising. I was like, I oh, would never imagine surprise. that you smoke crack. Oh, it's yeah, I know. Best. People always say that. It's a yeah. feel good yeah, yeah, story because yeah. you, you like, you do seem very together and like. Right, pretty yeah, normal yeah. dude. Well, I got yeah, I cleaned up. Uh, I cleaned up pretty reasonably early, like 30, 31 maybe. Okay, but then I fell back off the wagon when yeah. I started doing comedy. Oh, started really? Hanging out with comics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that was good. And, and then I uh, ended up uh, in Washington Square Park smoking rocks again. Whoa! Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh man! Yeah, so that was about five years ago. Oh wow! Yeah, okay. Yeah. Right before I got in with like. Uh, so I knew you then. But barely, yeah, 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 yeah. I just started getting in with PJ, or I just okay. got in with PJ, I think. Yeah. It's 20, it's 20, it's 2017, 2018. Yeah. I, I don't know. Maybe 2018. I was probably gone by then. Yeah, but you I, were going I, by that, yeah. but we had run into each other yes, at yeah, the yeah, pair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I think uh, Nick was running with, right. uh, was working with Joe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I, yeah, I think yeah, that's, yeah, that's yeah, yeah. we would see each other around yeah, yeah, there yeah, and, yeah. The, and then the old Lantern, I think. Right. Oh, yeah, that's a good. That's a good one. What? Have you ever had a job? that you had to like you had your greatest night of comedy like your biggest night yeah and you had to show up like that cinder like that fucking moment it turns into a pumpkin have you had that moment yet and what was it i will you go back and you have to show up at crispers and hide yeah, your kind of, so, yeah <laughs> well no i mean you gotta put the headset on a chick-fil-a after you open for bill burr i don't know something it wasn't like the greatest night of comedy it was the first time i ever did like carolines i think was yeah. with nick callis my friend was headlining and he was like hey you want to do a guest spot that was awesome and i was like i invited everybody yeah, from i was working at a construction company uh, in New York, I was doing. I was in the office. Uh, didn't lift anything. So, <laughs> you know, funny how like we were kind of suspecting like, that that would. Well, yeah. I answered the Crispers and Chick Fil A. Yeah, of course you front of the house. From no, the house, yeah, yeah, together. Yeah. yeah. We need this guy filing. We need, <laughs> bring him in up here shaking hands, yeah. man. Soft hands. <laughs> the face of the business yeah, right here. He's got woman. soft hands. <laughs> cutting out money all your life. Um, but yeah, so I was working there and then, you know, it was kind of cool. Cause like I was working there, I was really quiet. And then when they found out I did comedy, then it became like a whole thing in the office. And oh, then cool. when they found out I was 
going to be at Caroline's. They were like, let's make a whole office thing of, of it. Sick. And uh, just a bunch of construction workers seeing you do stand up. Yeah, That's like the best dude, first time audience you could ever have. They oh, had wow. so much money. And they man. loved you. Yeah, so dude, much, they had so, so much, much money, is they, that what you said? They, yeah, they bought out three tables in the front row at Caroline's and food and everybody. And wow. the whole thing was like packed or whatever, right? Oh, so, shit. Uh, yeah. And then I did it. I did probably to like six minutes, but I was, it was really good. I had a really good set. But yeah. then, like the next day, I'm just like in the office at 7 a.m. with a tie and a shirt. And I was just like, kind of hate this shit. <laughs> like, yeah, they're all yeah, coming yeah, up yeah. to me like, that was fun. Yeah, I was like, yeah, yeah but can I'm you here. Yeah. <laughs> that's that a great night. Hey, by the way, can you make sure that these yeah. expenses have been accounted for? Exactly. You want to kill yourself? Exactly. I used to have, there was this dude, Frank, who used to come in and he was awesome. Everybody that came in was so nice. Yeah. Until, they're gruff, but they're so nice. Yeah. Like they just come in and be like, he, Frank would come in talking to his like Doris, his like assistant person at his office. He's like, Doris, you're fucking me. You're fucking me. You're fucking me. I don't give a fuck. Do I, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I love you, baby. What's up, Christian? <laughs> hey, Christian, how you doing? Hey, great job last night. Great job last night. Well, yeah. That's the thing. In the beginning of your career, you always invite people from your job. I remember yeah. inviting office people, and I stopped doing it because it was like. Every time they see you in the break room, every time they see you at the yeah, event, yeah. then there's like always that guy who wants to talk to the girls, but he's so old. You know, those guys who are like older dudes in the office, but they want to talk to the young intern or all yeah. those kind of guys. Yeah. And then they'll use you being a comedian. Yeah. Hey, there's Josh days. over here. Hey, you, you know, know his other job? This yeah. is not really his job. He actually... Yeah. Oh yeah. man, dude! Yeah, and you get roped more. into his and, pervy, yeah, creepy shit. I don't want to be, yeah. be associated with yeah. you. I'm not your yeah. wingman. Yeah, right. no. yeah. <laughs> quit using my shit to talk to this girl. Tell uh. her about your fucking how the fact that you've been at this job 30 years yeah. and you've never been promoted. Because now she looks at you like you guys are a team. Yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah. We're now we're fucking Dean now, Martin and Jerry Lewis. Yeah. This fucking Dean guy. This guy are yeah. attached forever. This yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. That Fuck, was... man. That's the worst. Yeah, it was always weird. people to your when, place. When people go up and like, ah, oh, he's going to put that in his act or whatever. And you just, I always go like, why would I put, why would I talk about something you know about yourself? Like, why would I make fun of the things that you're aware of? One of his little skits. Yeah, I was like, no, I'm going to make fun no, of your fucking I, breath. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, yeah. I'm going to make fun you of heard this me. interaction. Yeah, exactly. yeah. You fire me if you heard what I'm about to say about exactly. it. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how long did you work at the construction place? From from when I moved to like 2012 to about 2016. Oh, okay. Like yeah. Did you get like benefits and stuff like that? No. Oh, I was an, oh, I was dude. a temp. I forgot about that. Oh, I was a temp the entire shit. time. You were for your temp. Entire Only time. stand-up comics yeah. and people who are severely but that's disturbed. Why, yeah. Like I was a temp. I was always a temp. Yeah. For a lot of years like I'm just temping. Yeah, because I would definitely like. Oh, I'll go out on tour. I'll feature because right. for a while there, you could make a little bit of money featuring. Like, yeah. okay, and then I'll go temp. And it was like you could always find a temp job. Mm -hmm. Imagine in this climate now trying to do that shit. People I don't know. Do they do still have temps? Is that still they, a thing? They do, know. but it is. I would think so. Not as plentiful as it once was. Yeah, it in used New to York be. City. Like I used to know a bunch could, of people. I, temps. Could, I used to get offers to be temps every single day, almost like a substitute teacher. I wonder if you're not allowed to have temps anymore. Oh, yeah, like because I know there was a thing with I mean, Obamacare. Four years is extreme. <laughs> four years is you a have long to give time. A that's, a, that's a really long time. That's a professional. Yeah, it, there, it was like that's, it was insane. You don't even have a desk. It's like, what yeah. do you do? Oh, I'm a temp. <laughs> and you don't once, even say it. One time, my boss, like she, like she, I would have to do my hours and submit it to her. And then for whatever reason, one time she was like, "Hey, can you just like." you know submit it for me something's wrong with my computers i'll give you my login or something and i saw how much they were paying the company for me and how much i was getting oh you're getting like the tip I, of dude, the dick you're you know, not even i seriously it. think oh. i got like 30 grand a year and i think they were making like 100. 60 or something like, oh something like that. It, yeah, it's usually crazy. double yeah. yeah yeah wow and i was like this is nuts yeah I was like, just hire me. Like, if you hired me for this price, no, like, you know why? You can hire they me for benefits. It's the benefits. It's the literally, benefits. it's all through the temp agency. Yeah. They're taking on all the risk. All the, you're just there. Yeah. You have nothing to do with them. Yeah. You might as well not exist. Yeah. And they would like, but they'll go to your comedy show. That's cool. exactly. Yeah. But that's other thing. They <laughs> pass some. And you're like so happy about it. Like yeah. you're just totally fucked <laughs> over every day in your life. Thanks so much for showing up, man. It made me look yeah. really good. And I'm so stupid because if I had any smarts at all, I wouldn't have done it on a show that I was a guest by. Yeah, 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 right. You burned you your burned the whole fucking load. load. Yeah. yeah, I know. That's you could so for a dumb. month pounded them like, yeah. man, it's crazy. I have so much money that you're paying them, but I'm yeah. getting like a small amount of it, yeah, right? Yeah, hey, I got yeah. this show. Caroline's coming up. You know, you could buy five. 
five tables. That yeah. would be incredible. I like the next day at work. They're like, the really what made it worse was that everyone was talking about how great Nick's set was. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh, the opener he's really guy. talented. Yeah. <laughs> the opener guy who's yeah. like fucking one month in. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that well, last that guy, he's going to make it. <laughs> that used to, f- oh anyway, my God. <laughs> a stack of papers. Yeah, cool. Can you file these by Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man uh, it's so good yeah that was it was as as awful it wasn't awful like being there was the people were all great i love those see people, that makes like, total difference though yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, but it, it was just like it's like a trap though yeah when people are really nice at a job like you kind of you're like you you're like i should leave here but it's kind of yeah like, yeah right and yeah. i was basically like an assistant but the thing was like as time went on they would just be like try to give me more responsibility like yeah. i remember they're like all right tuesdays we have a morning meeting that starts at seven like i would come in at eight so i had to be there at seven for those and i'm like come on why i don't need to be here yes, i'm like dude. i'm the plan room guy like, i print well, out the drawings temp wages asking me to be exactly, a salary yeah. employee I, right. I, i'm not middle management that I'm, was annoying. middle management i should be here at sure i gotta That's take the heat four years no benefits like yeah would, would you, we'll nuts. see the temp agency should have gave you something yeah they should have but you have to sign up for it, but they take shit out of your check. Yeah. Isn't that Probably, crazy? Yeah. They're getting paid double, but yeah. they take it out of your fucking measly. It was that was nuts, man. I thirty grand. Back, I'm like, oh, I can't believe I remember those days. Fuck I did that. that, but I was like, I didn't care. Like, I had a five hundred dollar apartment in Harlem, like one forty fifth somewhere, and dude, it was my room was not as big as this room. Like, my room was like. It was a closet, literally. Yeah. Like I, all you could fit was a mattress in it and a, and a, and a TV. What size mattress? Like, twin. Like, oh, <laughs> like, shit. like, and and I had like a coat rack uh, at the edge. Like I cannot believe, I can't believe I got anybody like any girl to like go in there. Yeah, either. Yeah, yeah. But like it was say something about New York. Yeah, though, right? yeah I know. back in the like, day you could get good like, girls oh, like nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, you have a get your mattress own space. Cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I got this coat mattress. Rack. But uh, yeah. yeah, I got this mattress. So, uh, that was like my whole thing was just keep your overhead low. Just keep it all yeah. low, like, and don't get a job that you need. You know, don't get a job you get sucked into. Which I was always like, and towards the end, like, the subcontractors would come up to me. You know, they come in all the time. They're like, I remember one guy, Sean, was just like, like, what are you doing? Yeah, <laughs> He's right? like, you you staying here? You leave it? Like, what are you doing? Just stick around. Yeah. And then I was like, yeah, I don't know. And then I got a job at Nickelodeon, like, pretty shortly after. That's what I was, what like, I was gonna that's bring when up. I was, like, getting freaked out. That's a good transition because you're one of the few comics, like Ed and I. That have fields you work in that you don't entirely hate. Yeah, like Ed, you Ed are really great at your job. You're passionate about it. Yeah. I the stuff I'm doing currently is really cool, fun and yeah. cool. Uh, and you have a really great situation. Well, you work at Nickelodeon and you're an animator. I don't uh, know if those two things are well, not exactly. Like, well, well yeah, yeah, school I was, me. I was working in Noggin, so I was making video games for preschoolers. Cool. Uh, it was just like they had their own. So like software. a code kind of thing, kind like of code? kind of coding, but not real. It was it was such a, a a niche thing. Like they developed their own software um, for people to make games for preschoolers without coding knowledge or experience or whatever. Gotcha. So like I came in perfect because they were like looking for somebody who like didn't know anything, mm-hmm. and then I just showed up like the first day and there was no documentation or anything, and I just kind of learned how to do it and just stayed on board because I been there but the only problem was like i think in 2018 or 20 they let us go mm-hmm. and uh but those skills don't really transfer to anything oh, right. because you don't know so how to code specific. proprietary yeah. software yeah. yeah right so yeah. so it was that like it's a, yeah it sucked for a while and then um i started working on uh what's it called um our cartoon president you ever see? I, it was a show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a show on Showtime. I started working on that. Yeah, that, was, yeah. that was pretty fun. So I did that for like three months as an animator. Some, yeah, and then Nickelodeon called back and they were like, "Hey, you want to come on board?" And I was like, "The hours at that show, cartoon shows are crazy." Yeah. And the hours at that show were so intense that I was like, "I gotta." And you, gotta like, go. you and your wife were together then too. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That's hard. We were just well because we were about to get married, uh-huh. and I was like, and it wasn't paying as much, and I was just like, the hours are crazy, and I was like, I got a wedding to pay for, like, yeah, yeah, I got to go back. Yeah. So I did, and it was awesome. And then, but. Uh, <laughs> Again, like now, uh, I just had my second kid, and while I'm on paternity leave holding my second kid, I got the call going like we just we were like pretty much getting rid of Noggin altogether, so everybody oh, lost their job. Damn. So yeah, it's it's the Paramount Plus. Yeah, uh, exactly. It's that yeah. whole thing because yeah. I was working over, I was cutting trailers over at uh, really? Showtime. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. They, they got which they doesn't merged exist now. CBS. Yeah, they merged yeah. with CBS. I was there when they merged with CBS. Like I was freelance all the time. CBS, and then the uh, 
Viacom. Yeah, and, and then, then Paramount. Paramount. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah it's really shaking out, man. We were out here making all this content, hoping to get a deal, <laughs> and they're hurting. Yeah, you know. Well, they over. We might as well make themselves. our own shit. They totally did. Yeah. Well, I was reading a whole thing about how there's just too many streaming services right yeah. now. Yeah, it's yeah. just it needs to be it's good. There's a bubble that's gonna it pop. It needs to be four, yeah. four and done, yeah. or three and done. Mm -hmm. Period. It's so weird because it's like all that choice, and really, what you want is like I want everything on Netflix. Just put it all on Netflix. Yeah, put it on yeah. one. As much as we all go like, no, I actually want. You. We kind of like. Can we take the best be zombies a little the bit? Best this, <laughs> yeah. The best and just combine it into yeah. one. I guess yeah. that would be cable. I, but at least it'll all be right there, that. though, again. <laughs> I've been saying that for years. I was like, they're going to put all these streaming services into one big thing and give Absolutely. you one price. Yep. And it's going to be that. And that's that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. And it's all going to be ad supported because, like, yep. 2B is one of the biggest ones now. And, like, they're ad supported. It's free, but yeah. it's ad supported. So yeah. It's really cool. oh, yeah, so 2B right. has. Uh, uh, um, uh, to be has you get your prime through that you no no it's just oh. a streaming service they just have just people go to it because mm -hmm. it's free so they're gotcha, like i got gotcha, it and they have like a ton of movies like old movies oh, they okay. get fairly new movies they have their own stuff they're creating their own content now so oh. this is a perfect segue for our sponsor just so i could hold up something and say that someone paid <laughs> yeah for us to pitch their product like i got a cameo request today and this guy did you Oh yeah, it's so fun. Sometimes I just get random ones because I roast people on there and people want me to roast their buddies. And this dude wants me to say some hellacious shit about oh. his best friend. I cannot wait to cut this cameo. Oh. I, I'm gonna put the ring, I'm gonna go all out for this guy. Oh, nice. Uh, Cause I wanna do it. He lists some- How much do you charge for a cameo? Personal stuff. Oh, I come cheap. Yeah, I mean, 10, like 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Yeah. yeah. You ever do one? No, I haven't. No, I, in cool. the pandemic, I got lucky. I did like 15, 20. Oh, oh nice. nice. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I'm not famous, so I was like, yeah, damn, yeah. this feels yeah. pretty cool. That's cool. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, so now what are you Now what are you doing? Now I'm just writing and working on the uh, play. That's and, awesome. Uh, that's you got a play so good, dude. Yeah, oh, so thank you. Thank you. Race, so good. the Thanks. movie, the play, I thought it was so smart to bring in a bunch of different... Uh, I, I guess everyone plays their same role, but I think there was always kind of a... like. I know Dean Edwards was a main character. Yeah. But then you would have like Dan Cook and some other people come in and rotate through uh, in different formats of it. I'm kind of, well, Dane is Dane is with us on a different thing. That's oh called, okay. I was a different yeah. Project. That's a different. Right. Uh, we're the, we're doing a different show called uh, uh, Christmas Carol Two. Uh -huh. There's oh, a longer nice. title. It's basically like Scrooge. It's the day after a Christmas Carol One. Uh, so nice. Scrooge is like, oh, I love everybody and Christmas and you know whatever. And then like an Amazon type big box company moves in and he's got to turn into like old Scrooge again. <laughs> oh, nice. So, and Dane was like the Jeff Bezos type person. Oh, cool, he was cool. amazing. He was amazing. Um, but uh, with race and movie, the play, yeah, we had a couple of people like we had Jeff Ross come in for a table. Yeah, movie. that's what I saw. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's probably what you're thinking. Of. We did one for the New York comedy festival and he was like gracious enough to like just show it was crazy. Like, he was like, he, that's he's, what's cool about the read through is they don't have to memorize anything. Exactly. Yeah. Like it was crazy. He like came in, I think it was like the night before we asked him and we got, we talked to him, but we got final yes the right. night before. And then he showed up the night of, and I just handed him a script. I was like, you're playing this person. And he's like, cool, cool great. And he had like a take, like he had like a whole character. That's he came great. on, he killed it and crushed. And That's I was awesome. like, I couldn't believe how talented he is. Like it was pretty impressive. I saw it with uh, Ted Alexandro. Yeah. At okay. Stand Up New York. And, wow. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was the, that, was he, it the same character? It was the same that yeah, it must have been the same show, but he was probably night two or something. You probably oh, yeah. went to night two or three. Or Ted something. Alexandra was so he's uh, brilliant, so good. He's he's so brilliant and he's such a good guy and he's such a like, he was like a real like mentor and About just a real good guy to like ask advice of and like just very thoughtful and very gracious and like he would always say stuff like, like he's like you're you're you you guys are the writers you're the directors you can take this joke if you want I'm like dude you're Ted Alexandra like yeah of mm -hmm. course I'm gonna take the fucking joke like and it was brilliant he would always yeah. come up with a brilliant idea he's like it's yours to take or not he was just so gracious and like really cool about dude he was amazing. so when I saw him so he gets him so there's you know I don't know how many microphones are on a uh, thing but there's one that had a, a crackly mic yeah. and people whoever had it you know because it's yeah. a table read so people are popping in and out mm -hmm. yeah and um. Whoever had it, would, it was kind of struggle. You know, it's a crackly right, mic. Yeah. And um, in character, Ted Alexander is talking to a Southern, he's a Southern gentleman. <laughs> yeah. and, and he gets up and he's talking and he goes, oh, I'm going to remove this microphone presently. 
another microphone yeah. from someone. And I was like, oh my God. And it popped. That, yeah. that like popped the whole, because it was the beginning of the thing and the crowd was like yeah, tight. It was yeah, like yeah, three yeah. in the afternoon or something yes. like that. So yeah, it was like yeah, an yeah. early read and everyone was kind of tight. And, and as, as soon as he did that, that yeah. it just like popped. Magic. Exploded. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah. the rest of the show was like, why I still do stand up in any performing is for that moment. Yeah. You know, that's the crack for me. It's like, yeah. yeah, I always say we do like we're doing like sixty percent comedy and forty percent theater. Yeah, because it's yeah. like it's really about like just figuring it out. And like I remember when we were doing the the theater shows, Dean and I after before every show for some we never planned on doing this, but we would always be behind the curtain listening to the audience. And like when there's like a little pre recorded thing that plays in the beginning, I was like, if they laugh hard at this. Good show. It's going to be a good show. Yeah, yeah, and we, yeah. we would always end up being crossing paths at that moment. And if it was a good laugh, we were like, mm, yeah. good. Nice. Good. Yeah, that's why I fun. love theater, man. Especially yeah. when you can do like a run of something. Because, you you know, I, I associated with football. I, I, I don't know if you know this. I played <laughs> college football. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> pretty it hasn't talented. been an episode. It hasn't come <laughs> up. It hasn't been a single episode. It hasn't come up. <laughs> Is that right? <laughs> Batting a thousand over I, here. I don't really like to talk about it much. It's kind of a dark period you know, of my life. Whatever. Don't yeah. make a big fucking thing out of it. Here's my trophy. You know. uh, <laughs> but if you're interested. But, uh, <laughs> if you want to see my highlight reel, it's <laughs> throw up on the big screen yeah. in a minute. Uh, but it's like that. You get this team and this continuity and everyone's yeah. like into it. And I just remember when I did the fringe, I was, you know, the, there's only one other actor and her and I just got really close and got to talk about a lot of stuff and different nuances of each performance. I yeah. love that shit. Yeah. It becomes like summer camp. Yeah. It's it really, cool. yeah. Yeah. Totally. You get really close and then you break away and it just feels like, Oh, that's so, but you so always weird. have that. It's weird. Yeah. It's like seeing an old teammate down the road. Like, Oh, Hey, yeah, you of course, never yeah. lose that. Yeah. 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 Hey, yeah. You guys had Derek, Derek on. Oh, Derek yeah. 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 He's, he's so hey, funny. He's really funny. He's just man. so funny. Great and so fun to be around and like such a good guy and like really helped the play a lot. Just chatting it up and talking it up and stuff. But yeah, he was fantastic. He's just one of my favorite people, man. Yeah. He's so funny. Yeah. So good. But like, yeah. So what do you, you know, we always talk about being older comics and like having, I have a family, yeah. his wife. It's just, you got to be really conscious of your time and right. units of energy yeah. now that are yeah. accounted for. Yeah. And I remember really early on in my comedy career, I made a lot of mistakes trying to do a lot of different things all at once. And not really finding a way to narrow it down and make a quality thing. Yeah. And now I'm, you know, I paid for that. And now I'm finally understanding it. And you know, that's kind of why we have this. But with the the play, there's only so many times you can show it, and so many times you can do it. Yeah. Until you figure out, okay, we just invested two years right. in this thing, mm -hmm. and maybe longer because you have to write it and shape it. How do we parlay this attention into opportunity? Right. Yeah. So how did you like, how are you managing that? How are you figuring that out? Um, I mean, the, it's, uh, one thing about me just personally, uh, is I'm pretty patient. And, uh, one thing that Brett and I both Brett, who's the, for your listeners, uh, the, uh, co-writer, um, of the show, um, is that we, we were at the shows. We did about a month of shows. Uh, the first two weeks were good. They were good. And the audiences were, were had a great time. But then by the last two weeks and the last, uh, and we got extended, the last two weeks we were selling out. Yeah. That was and at Soho? At Soho Playhouse, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we were selling out. And the response was when when we had that pre recorded in the beginning, there's like a little trigger warning, a comedy, funny thing. And then it goes, race, the movie, the play. And people were like, woo! Like they were, they were excited pumped. to yeah. be there. And. And by the end of the show, it was just like a, a big thing. And like we had talk back sessions or whatever. And all that to say is like, I know that this is good. Mm -hmm. So it's worth sticking with. And I know that the reaction that people have to, it, and it's very genuine. And people were like, and these talk back things after the show, people were like, I brought my, you know, my mom, because she had to see the show. And we, you know, I, I called my girls from, you know, Delaware and Maryland and all that. And we flew down to come see it. So I was like, man, all was, right. That'd be kind of surreal, right? No, I was, yeah, I told awesome. the people in the audience, I was like, I'm very taken aback by like yeah, the, the awesome. response because it's like, I mean, this is just like some dumb play that we wrote. Like we're just <laughs> farting around jokes. And then to have people go like, I really resonated with this. I was like, that's really cool. So it, it's just a matter of like believing in it. And, and I feel like we have, confidence in it because of what yeah we know it's good and yeah. we know what it does to people so we're like 
we can charge forward and then it, the next thing is just about meeting the right people and i'm the worst network in the w- yeah, yeah, worker same. in the world but to have someone like dean and to have someone oh, like brett you have, those yeah. people we you have, have a lot of people that we have, have connections yeah, yeah we have infrastructure that can help us move things forward and things are moving forward and it's exciting but in the meantime you're just kind of waiting yeah but that's the thing it's like you just got to be patient but like I, it's like but you know i feel like that story is a different story than yeah we did it and now we're kind of sitting on it you are yeah. moving it even when it's not even though it's not out there right now being yeah. done you're moving it that must feel a lot better than just going i hope something can happen yeah you know you have people well, working on it with you got yeah. a great team you're doing it right i'll just say this uh, your uh, perspective is so just sharp. it's such a good perspective because i know if it was me and josh we would be like and there's been you know, a month since the last performance, we're like, what the fuck are we doing? Yeah. What the fuck yeah. are we doing? You know what I mean? Like, your pa- right. the patience that you have is yeah. like, it's essential because, right? I mean, like, yeah. dude, what the fuck are we even doing anymore? Why are we even trying it's, this? It's yeah. Stu- yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, but. Dude, I haven't gotten up in, or, we haven't done this in six weeks. Is this even funny anymore? <laughs> no, I mean, I. Uh, yeah. So good. But I can get like that too. I think a lot of it is Brett. Brett's tenacity. I've told this to Brett a lot. I was like, his tenacity is like, really almost single-handedly like really pushed the show forward in like so many ways where i'd be like i don't know this is gonna be tough or whatever and like it's tough but like you you go through it and stuff and like and the thing is is like you gotta you gotta just if you have an idea of something you want to do is something that you're very genuine about of like i would love to do this because i would be doing it anyway Mm -hmm. you gotta do those things and you gotta like you got to put your well, own money into it. That's the true gotta, north, right? Yeah. That's the true north right like, there. I made, I was telling you off mic, I, like, I made a cartoon almost like 10 years ago. That was the thing that got me in Nickelodeon. And yeah. I was like, I taught myself how to do After Effects and, and I found an animator in Canada, a dude who draws in Canada. I just put it together. I like paid voice actors. I, like that's how I learned to, to direct. That's great. And then that, that skill goes into directing a play and then now the directing skills that go into play go into yeah. like other things and like all those little things is like it helps and and you know that cartoon is i'm working on something now which is really cool and because of that dumb cartoon i made 10 years ago yeah so you never know so you just got to do this stuff and just honestly it's just patience it really is just patience and having the vision of going having the confidence to go i know this is good because i would watch it or i would mm. listen to it that totally resonates with me because i'm sitting here right now because of a britney spears joke i was like i should be a comedian yeah, same. <laughs> Your shit. And, yeah, that's the same. <laughs> it was like this inspirational moment. It's like, you know, I was really thinking about that Britney Spears joke I wrote. <laughs> and how it got me here. <laughs> what a journey it's been for little Eddie McGowan. <laughs> I mean, a decade before the knives thing. I, mean, I got to say, I'm, I'm kind of annoyed because, like, I had a joke that I was like, I felt like it should have gotten more love because I felt like I was proven correct. Yeah. Where I, this is before, this is why the free Britney thing was happening. Mm-hmm. I was like, you know, now, now that she's free, I think we're gonna quickly realize why she wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. And now I'm like, I think I'm being proven right a little bit. It doesn't look the good. Knives and like the yeah. spinning. Sure, that's like one of the. Like, if that was a tweet, that is like something. That, like, yeah. They come back to like they come back to like Simpsons quotes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 That's so good. Uh, well, what can we? What's going on? Like you touring? You're just doing you know, stand up around I'm the city. I'm writing. Yeah, you? I just do stand up when I can. I live yeah. in Connecticut now, so I'll be I'll be at like the Bridgeport stress yeah. factory and stuff every now cool. and then so it's like that's that's cool but my focus is on writing right now uh-huh. so it's it's probably it's pretty all-encompassing my goal was always just to like i wanted to make something so that i had a credit so i didn't have to be nice to a booker yeah <laughs> and that's just what it really comes down to for kind us of. is that i don't need to i don't i just don't want to and not, the not that i want to be a jealousy dick. that just shot through yeah 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 it just be that. a whole <laughs> no i mean i don't i don't yeah i'm still yeah, working on it still working on it but <laughs> like <laughs> no i don't but i'm not not to be like a dick to people no, just that no. thing of like i hate yeah, that i don't have to without I a just, lot of context it, it, it's not a very nice industry it's yeah, yeah. and the people that are in charge of the gate a lot of them not all of them are very power thirsty and definitely have their favorites and definitely don't treat 
a lot of people properly. But but not in both. And, and comics no, are just like, as guilty. But there's also a million fucking comedians. Yes, it's too, hard. So it's, it's hard all it, around. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's for everyone. We were talking about the show with PJ, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I would do the door for that show. Yeah. That was PJ's show. He booked the show. Yeah. I would do the door and take the money. I've had I have comedians probably to this day who hate me because they think I didn't get them on that show. Yeah, right. Which I'm just like I had no I, yeah, authority yeah, 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 to totally. do it. Totally. Yep. And uh, but at, at the same time, it, like when you constantly have people. I remember uh, like Kenny Warren or yeah, like when he started taking over. Kenny Warren's always a super nice guy or whatever. And then once he started taking over that show, he's just very short with people. It's well, like you it, have to be. It's it's hard. Hard. Everybody comes up yeah. and goes, "Hey man, can that I get that is hey, awful how's it going? position to be in." Oh, yeah. Hey, what's up, I mean, oh, dude? If yeah. you're a booker, you got almost got to <laughs> yeah. go into hiding like the mafia. Yeah. Yeah. And people go, who's a booker's name? And you can see comics. Oh, don't don't, don't yeah. fucking say it. Don't fucking say it. <laughs> you didn't yeah. hear from me. Yeah, yeah. Jesus <laughs> Christ. And as soon as you stop doing those shows, they all, you know, yeah. it's like Master P. When yeah. the money get low, did they go, did they go. <laughs> <laughs> Christian, right? plug where you're at. Where can people find uh, Just Durant. go to ChristianDuranComedy.com for all your Christian Duran needs. I do a podcast Neat. with my brother called the Duran Brothers Movie Podcast. Ooh. Every week we talk about the movies that raised us. Ooh. Uh, so I nice. think we just talked about and what, what, whatever we're watching right now. So Godzilla minus one we just talked about. And then like we have a Scarface episode and a Hook episode. So. Oh, Hook. Oh, yeah. Cool. Oh, hook. So oh, right on. yeah oh, you guys hook. should come on and talk yeah. about just oh, whatever right movie on. really. I love it. You know. I'm a huge movie guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah totally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, we'll do it. Awesome. Uh, at Josh Ricardo, joshricardo.com. Our tour, the Working Class Wolves Comedy Tour, yeah. is hitting the Seattle area in July. We got... Rhode Island, Connecticut, all of that shit happening too in the fall. So make sure you go there for your tickets. Uh, follow me on Instagram at EdMcGowanComedy. Go to EdMcGowan.com to see my dates, my city dates. The tour dates uh, will also be up there. And uh, if you uh, have any questions for us, oh, yes. if you want to reach out, if you want to talk about your days at Chick Fil A, uh, <laughs> email us. <laughs> email us at workingclasscomedians at gmail dot com. Uh, we'll see you guys again next week. You can listen to us on all major podcast platforms every Wednesday. You can follow us on Instagram at Working Class Holes. Also, make sure you watch the full show on YouTube. All you got to do is type in Working Class Holes, and please don't forget to rate us five stars and tell a friend. Come on.